Project Zomboid asks you one very simple question. Would you survive the end times? The portrayal of zombies comes in many forms across media. In movies, usually it's a lot more realistic. It focuses on how vulnerable people are, how they can be selfish, desperate, or manic. These feelings, however, are not really present in zombie games. I am Mega Man, baby. Usually zombie games are like, Yeah, you're a badass. Food and water? What are you, a nerd? How about you use this lawnmower to turn this zombie into mashed potatoes? Throw plates at zombies in your Kelsky cosplay. Work out with the Lego head on, we don't care. And of course these games are like that. Because, well, it's a game. What? And games are supposed to be fun. Most of the time. Even in Left 4 Dead 2, while there can be a hopeless vibe, you're encouraged to mob with your squad, guns blazing. You really think during this time I'm like, Man, I should probably stop and get some water. No, because the limitations of the human body are cringe. So playing this game for the first time, my preconceptions of what a zombie game is were shattered. Ellis isn't kicking zombies in the face and killing all sons of bitches. In Project Zomboid, Ellis can barely do a squad. So, I ask you again, would you survive the end times? <laughs> I'm always there. Oh! Don't worry, I'm just nice like that, guys. I'm just nice like- oh. <laughs> Not a main character, not the chosen one, but you. A vulnerable, lowly human. In Project Zomboid, this isn't the start of some legendary tale. This is the story of how you died. I'm coming. Oh! For the people who don't know, Project Zomboid is an isometric, open-world, realistic survival game. Heavy emphasis on the realistic part. It has an insane level of attention to detail and level of logic that just makes sense. You trying to sprint and jump over a wooden fence too quickly? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, what the? Good job, dumbass. You just tripped and fell, scratching your arms. Crap, I don't have any band-aids. Everything's fine. I guess I'll just go to the doctor and get patched. Oh, yeah. Cars require gas. Wounds can get infected. Makeup can be applied. <laughs> this is me solo queuing ranked. Get an entire outfit. Bro, what is a circus group? We look like... We look like all Batman villains. <laughs> You can even write notes on paper. If you find this, find a computer as fast as possible and subscribe to Kelski. In this world, the smallest mistake can turn you into zombie food. That's right. Teach her a lesson. Wait, wait, oh no, I... Uh, she oh, okay. <laughs> I'm such a that fucking was... idiot. Later. Well, I'm a zombie outside you of bitten? your house now. Wait, really? Okay. Wait, I can reason with him, don't worry. <laughs> Yogi. It's me. What are you doing out here? It's cold. Oh, look, he wants a hug. Oh, hey, hey, no biting. No biting. Yeah. Get off me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> look away, cat. Oh, I can grab his corpse? I'm gonna put Yogi onto the couch here. How do I put him down? Oh, here we go, drop you corpse. Just yeah, drop corpse. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so comfortable. <laughs> it doesn't matter how long you've played, or how much gear you have. Bro, if a zombie comes out, I'm fucked. Like, I have so much stuff in my hands. If you get bit one time, you're infected, and it's game over. The tutorial does not shy away from this either, constantly telling you that you will die. This game is so depressing, actually. <laughs> He's so cute, though, so I mean, like... It's okay. So is that how the tutorial's gonna end? I'm just gonna die? What if I just beat the tutorial? Is that possible? Oh my god! Oh! 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 <laughs> Um. Before moving on, I just want to take a quick second to show off some more extremely talented people in the community. Maybe I'll make a name for this segment or something? I don't know what I did to deserve fan art this sick, but just look at it. It's beautiful. This one by Caster Cat is a pretty cool take on my persona, with the ears being this band instead of a mask. Also, holy shit, I'm pretty. And then we have the other end of the spectrum, and drawing so manly, it made me go through a second puberty. Good contrast, amazing art. Thank you guys so much. Anyways, before I get more into the mechanics of the game, I wanted to briefly share my first experiences. Okay, it's probably a good time to... Do I, have... I, didn't... I didn't bring any water. Me being the stubborn gamer that I am, I wanted to try playing solo for my first few runs. Thus... Johnny Sins was born into the world, ready to fight back the undead. Who better than the man who can master any craft? 
Occupation and traits? I mean, I'm Johnny Sins. Is there an all of the above option? My first run went just about how you'd probably expect. After waking up, I was checking out the place and realized you can mess with the radio. Creeper. Oh man. The noise attracted some zombies, so I started panicking and ran away. Ah! Which ended up slowly attracting more zombies. Ah, damn it, Johnny. The sound of your big ass cheeks clapping are alerting the zombies. After running out of town with absolutely zero supplies, I sat in the woods, tired and thirsty. You know what, this is fine. I can just live out here. I can suckle the moisture off the tree bark whenever it rains. Eventually, a random building in the middle of nowhere was found, providing water and temporary shelter for Johnny Sins, and he decided to leave a note for any wandering survivor. Johnny Sins was here. If you see this, I leave my cock ring to my older brother. Has it been a, has it been a day yet? Am I at day 100 yet, dude? <laughs> I'm losing my mind right now. But after realizing I had no food, and that I was in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I was forced to retreat back to where I came, leading to my demise. Oh no! Oh no, I got me, I'm getting bit! Oh! You think I care? I'm literally the world's best doctor, dude. I'll just do CPR on myself. Just die already! Oh, I got bit so many times. Oh, I'm in agony. Oh, death imminent? Oh, uh, wait, I have an idea, I have an idea. Can't I like rip my underwear to use those bandages? No, Johnny Sins. No, that was one day. Next up was John Wick. Although this run was probably worse than my last one. Okay, my goal is to make it to that other house right there. Can I do it? Can I cross the yard? Spoiler alert, I didn't make it across the street. Did he see me? Oh sh! Wait. Wait. Okay. This is a uh, quickly going to shit. I ran, and ran, and eventually found a fire department building to take refuge in. I don't like this game anymore, bro. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> Listen, John Wick. Look in the mirror, long and hard. You are breathtaking. You're breathtaking. I wonder. Do zombies have object permanence? Turns out, zombies do in fact have object permanence. Ah uh, no! And they proceeded to permeate my butthole. Oh uh, no! 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 How are we looking? Oh, we're dead. At this point, I was defeated, wounded. I decided to bring along some friends to teach me more about the game and help me live longer than two days. This is where Project Zomboid started to sink its teeth into me. Let's go burn down a house. Let's go commit arson. <laughs> I'm gonna keep organizing. Arson with the boys. <laughs> arson. arson. You can't like arson. 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 Wait, are you guys going to the house next door and not like a little bit ways away, you know? No. Experiencing a realistic survival simulator with friends is just so goddamn fun, dude. Oh, Bubba, you're on, you're gonna be on fire. Oh shit! You're on fire. Oh, you're on fire. Oh, how do I? Oh, I was, oh, I'm good. And having company in this world really helps alleviate some of the tension. Let's have a barbecue, Yogi. Let's cook some glizzies. I'm the glizzy master. I used to like feeding my hot dog hot dogs because she used to just suck them up without eating. Wait, like a packaged hot dog or your hot dog? <laughs> Surviving with others, however, can be both a blessing and a curse. Just as people are stronger together, it requires great amounts of trust. <laughs> Link, what are you doing? <laughs> you got a problem? Is that just like your homeware? Yeah. Oh, you're working out? Let me spot you, teammate. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Leo, what's up, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> We're exercising up here. You mind if I join you? Yeah, yeah maintain eye contact. Like, try to, like, sync it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and trust oh God, is a very finite resource in the apocalypse. How's your rat burger? It makes me happy. Pretty unhappy. Pretty happy. Minus 13. Did you eat the whole thing? You? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna get a drink of water. I will too. All right. Okay. Don't make any funny movements here. Yeah, and you neither. You want to sit on the table and hold hands while we're pulling guns at each other? I would like that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go grab a seat here. Oh, I got you. 
I'll make I sure you do, fuckface. <laughs> you drink water first. Hey, I'm not gonna do it. I'm trying to cook here. You'll need to rely on each other in the apocalypse, or else your minds will be consumed by madness. Four hours. <laughs> oh, that hurt a bite. Yeah, I think that was Link. I'm sure he's Link? fine, right? Gotta check his bandages. Yeah, I'm, I'm removing his bandages. <laughs> oh, he's moving. <laughs> he's, fine. Yogi, he's fine, Yogi. He's fine. I think Yogi's. I think his Yogi's acting a little crazy right now. Yogi, did you get bit? Yeah. Yogi's bit. We gotta put him down. I. That is not fucking true. You're a fucking liar. And if you, I will kill you both. I don't Yogi, care. Put, Yogi, put down the gun. <laughs> put down the gun. He's not infected. No, not. He's infected. And, and... You're, you're the one acting crazy here, dude. Oh shit. Oh, that gun dude. doesn't even have Come ammo on, in guys. it. All you have to do is kiss. How do you know it doesn't have ammo in it? Because I put it in there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> if you die though, that's okay. Just make a new character and go get your stuff back from your disgusting zombified corpse. Speaking of which, I want to briefly mention the trait system. It gives Project Zomboid infinite replayability. The more positive traits you add to yourself, such as being athletic, you heal faster, or you drive really fast, the more negative traits you'll have to add, such as being clumsy, having asthma, or worst of all, you're just a big pussy. You can even make your character deaf in this game, which, trust me, doesn't go well. If I can't hear the zombies, they can't hear me. The character expression goes even further oh, when you get down to clothing. The ski mask is kind of, uh, like, on brand for you now, so... Oh, you're right. Yeah. Here. Yeah. I'm wearing like, a onesie. <laughs> Keep my hat oh, on, my dude. God. You just went from like weirdo to SoundCloud rapper. You like What's my your? Hat? That's so sick. I'm just I'm just enamored by it. And then I take it off. Just a... oh, 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 oh. You can pretty much wear anything you find in this game. Hold on, I gotta take my long johns off. My character's oh, getting hot. Right. Long johns are that oh. low. Oh, <laughs> sorry, you weren't, you weren't supposed to see that. Even down to putting rings on individual fingers. The game has a realistic know, cooking mechanic, where you can pretty much make any logical combination of ingredients, and it will make yeah. that food. Here you go. I think you guys should go up oh, here. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me get you a spoon. I love, like, low-poly food in games. Meat and shrimp salad, wow. <laughs> you even need silverware to eat food properly. Well, you don't need silverware. I hear a bunch of, like, slurp. Did you just drink it out the oh, pot? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you little gremlin. Don't look at me. <laughs> Bro, you can even poison your own food with bleach. Yeah. I want a rat burger. I made more burgers, and they're all sitting on the kitchen table, but one of them is laced with bleach, and you don't know which one. Ooh, I like this game. <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah, this is round two. You gotta choose wisely. You're right. We're gonna play a rat burger roulette. On three, we're gonna, we're gonna eat the entire thing, right? Okay, one, two, three. Bottoms up, boys. Delicious sandwich. All right. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm stuffed. I mean, I'm great. <laughs> no, one of them is laced with bleach. It's probably going to take a while for it to activate. Later. Get this. All right. What's the Cat. next expedition? Hmm? Was it the rat burger? <laughs> oh Maybe. Are you, how are you feeling? <laughs> I, just, I just looked over and my health was missing. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, 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 oh shit! <laughs> his, his stomach just exploded. The combat itself is pretty straightforward. Holding right click to aim your weapon, and left click swings or shoots it. Just be careful because wherever you're aiming, that's all you can see. The game has a surprisingly complex sight system. The screen only shows you where your character can realistically see. This gives the game such an amazing atmosphere, dude. Oh, it's dark! Oh my god, it's Night. so dark. And really sucks you in, even if the game is top down. Yeah, you left your duffel bag just laying on the ground. Shit. Oh god! Fucking jump scare, dude. Lastly, yeah. I just want to touch on the base building stuff. You can pretty much place any item in the game anywhere, so you can pick really any building you want to make home. Guys, this house is for sale. <laughs> no way. It's in such a great neighborhood. How much do you think wow. it's for sale for? Probably free. <laughs> oh, what are all these animals on the couch? You don't like them? <laughs> no, they're very scary. <laughs> it's just like your average VTuber's like bedroom right here. Organizing your supplies and decorating. 
This is your safe place to kick back and unwind with the homies. However, the beauty of this game is the point I made in the very beginning of this video. It's easy to forget about being careful or cautious when you're playing with friends. You may be having fun killing zombies and looting for supplies, feeling safe knowing that your pals are around you. But remember, one bite is all it takes. Nope. <gasps> oh. Oh. Check your wounds, check your wounds. <gasps> no! Did you get bit? No! <laughs> you got your head I just had to go to the fucking wind. Dude, she bit me so quick! Did you get bit? No. I mean, I, I didn't get bit. <laughs> Are you attacking me? Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I <laughs> no! This is the end. Fuck you, Yogi. Don't do this to me. Look, think of all we've been through. No, don't do it. Hey, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Yogi. I got a gun. Down, I can... Down, Yogi. Do you have a gun too, Yogi? <laughs> Yogi. <laughs> let's talk about... No, Yogi, let's this. talk about all the nice yoga we did together. No, don't do it! You don't know how to use that thing. You don't know how to use that thing. Come join me, Yogi. Come join me. Come join me. Come here. Come here. Shit, out of ammo. No. He's dead. We have to put him down. No. Hey, Link, it's me. Stay Link, I'm still Stay inside up. here. Stay down. Link, it's still me. Stay down. Link. He's a menace now. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. It's not him. <laughs> it's not him. He's not the same. <laughs> Can you guys still hear my soul as it's leaving my You're body? Dead. Fuck you. Look, I can literally go on for hours about this game, but this video is already pretty girthy, so I'll leave it at that today. Needless to say, I have yet another new gaming addiction. This probably takes the cake for my new favorite survival game. It is that good, and the developers are so actively updating it too. And of course, the game has hundreds of mods, but I didn't have the time to get into all of this. I'm sorry. Look, I've still been working two jobs on and off, so I've been a little busy. If you made it this far into the video, here's... Another Bubba pick. Look at him. See, it's always worth it. Also, if you haven't heard the news, your man is sponsored by G Fuel, dude. Code Kelsky. I can't believe it. We're already at this point, man. I'm sure this is just a fever dream at this point, but hey, I'll keep playing along. Thank you guys for everything so far. The support has just been insane, dude. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.